In this devlog entry, we'll be doing another live coding session wherein we'll try to make a, a short improvement in our banking application. If uh, from the last live coding session, we actually had this part, we, a, we actually had an error here in one of our command patterns or in one of our operations, specifically in perform transaction, wherein we didn't have this, this sort of typecast, wherein we, we forced the amount to be of a, a numerical data type. We actually had something like this. And what happened there is that this transaction was able to succeed or successfully execute, but when the program reached this part, it actually threw an error. So we actually performed an insert statement, an insert query to our database, but when we tried to update the bank account, which is another update query, it actually failed. So essentially we have inaccurate data in our database right now because we have a new transaction, but the bank account's balance wasn't updated. And the reason behind that was that the bank account, the bank account balance is a numerical type and we're trying to perform um, some arithmetic, like a, a minus for withdrawal, a, an addition for, for deposit, against a string value. If you remember, this amount is actually being assigned from the client, from the JavaScript end, so the system treats it as a simple string coming from the client side. Uh, just to show you the error again, uh, I removed the, the typecast of, of forcing the amount to be a numerical value. And we'll try to run the application again and try to perform the transaction. Okay, so if you go to the bank accounts, okay, we currently have 1,200 pesos. If we try to withdraw, let's say 100 pesos, we try to save it, the it, it, the system produces an error, the front end produces an error, and as we can see in the back end, we have this error, string can't be coerced to a big decimal in line number 18 of perform transaction, where it was actually trying to do a, a subtraction operation against a um, string value amount. Okay. So we can always force this to be of type amount, that was the initial solution, or we can actually have the validate new transaction, which is another operation that, um, that is also being called sequentially from our API perform transaction. Right? So we can probably have a validation there that says something like amount should actually be a number. If not, then it will add an error message to the errors array. Now, um, but we, we weren't able to foresee that. And that's the one reason why uh, uh, Rails developers should always write tests. I'm not, I'm not really fond of writing tests, but it's, it's good practice. So uh, one way to safeguard our operations from these types of scenarios is to essentially wrap this part of our code around what, um, a transaction block. Okay, so what the transaction block will do is that it will um, make sure that everything within the block gets executed successfully before um, it's like an all or nothing thing, right? If this one fails, if this transaction fails, and this is one is in is a database transaction, it's actually an update call to the bank account stable. If this one fails, then it rolls back everything that's found in the transaction block and returns it to its default state. So uh, let's see the consequence of our actions. We had a successful transaction of the withdrawal right here, which was called in this part of the code, but the balance wasn't updated. So we still have 1,200, which should have, be some, which should have been something like 1,100. Let me check if the math is correct. Deposit, this one is 400, 1,400, 1,200, right, and it should be something like 1,100. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll first delete that erroneous transaction by doing something like um, account transaction dot last dot destroy. Okay, so it deleted it from the table. And, um, and I'd like to wrap this around a transaction block so that if ever it fails, then basically my, my database rolls back. So the simplest way to do that is to 
to do this to call active records parent um, class which is the base class active record base and call the transaction method and pass it a do block okay. so what happens right here is that even if this part fails then this this create or this insert statement actually gets rolled back so let's try that out again if i refresh this i already deleted that last transaction so we're back to our default balance if i try to perform that same transaction withdraw 100 pesos save oh okay so it, it, it got in all oh, right because i have this this guard right here that forced the amount to be a, a numerical value so I'll, I'll remove that again okay so this one is still a string we'll pass to this as a string and try to perform some mathematical operation against a string wherein the system should throw an exception um, because you can't do you can't do a number minus a string refresh this okay let's let's try to bring the balance down to 1000 minus 100 okay so we reproduce that error if you look at the server we produce that error again string can't be coerced to a, into a big decimal um, under the class our command or our operation perform transaction in line 19 which is this part so this one failed but this part actually rolled back right the meaning even if it inserted it and this part fails since it's still part of the transaction block this one will be uh, rolled back meaning it will be invalidated it will be removed from the database so let's try to refresh this again as you can see the the 100 peso transaction did not um, go through right so what we've seen here is that we we did a minor improvement to make sure that the amount that we're actually doing or that we're actually passing is of a type decimal and but essentially what we're doing is we're safeguarding this part of our system to to not fail or essentially if it does fail it will roll back the database to its initial state and maintain accuracy in our uh, information right. so that's a minor improvement for this um, particular application um, and still, still trying to decide what other improvements we can do for this particular bank account application. But for this entry, um, yeah, I guess this is it for this entry.